Hey, if you're dealing with panic attacks or extreme anxiety that comes out of f nowhere and it just grips you and you don't know what to do about it, then this video is for you. Hi there, welcome. I'm Dr. Pamela Serafin. Today's topic is how to overcome anxiety part two. That means hopefully you've watched part one. Now you've got to go back and watch part one because I covered a lot of really important uh, information about how your brain processes anxiety. And last time I talked about more the slow thought based process, which means you've got to be thinking about something produces an anxiety. But today, today we're talking about that fast mother that comes out of nowhere grips you you don't know how to to survive it it can just it is it's tough it's a beast i want to deal with that one that's what you need a good strategy for and so today i'm going to give you a rhythm based strategy i'm excited about this one this is going to help you restore your sense of calm and peace in your body once again help you reclaim control of your brain and get you to move forward now, in case this is the first time I've come on your radar, prepare yourself. I'm very unconventional, and yes, the strategies absolutely work, but I want to give you a bit of a cliff note, uh, you know, on my, my history, where I come from, so this is going to make a little more sense for you. Now, not only am I a neuroscientist and a trauma expert, I am a musician, 100%. I have been a drummer all my life, actually a world percussionist, and today's strategy is based on a, a rhythmic technique I use to help people retrain lower areas of their brain first, this dual processing, lower areas of their brain first, using their body and using thoughts to retrain the brain, to recover from anxiety. And am I trying to convince you to be a drummer? No, <laughs> no. But I do want you to be aware of the health benefits and how rhythm can be used to get the brain to respond differently, to get it to work to your advantage. So that's what I'm about today. And today's uh, technique is called the four minute habit, but I got a little more to uh, talk about first. So when dealing with anxiety, it's so important that you understand what's happening in the brain because that's what's going to empower you to know what techniques to use and what to do about it. So before I give you the four minute habit, there's four things you need to know and keep in mind. Number one, amygdala training. Now your amygdala, which is the fear center, can be trained to create new neural networks to support healthy ways to respond to anxiety. So that's what you've got to do. Now both pathways, the slow and the fast, have to go through the amygdala, but that fast pathway, that one that's drives you crazy and hits you so hard and is like like I said it just grips you makes you feel like you're dying you've got to train that one in a different way so that's what you want to keep in mind number two the language of the amygdala now this is the alarm system but instead of hearing it you're going to feel it and that indicates that your brain has picked up a real or perceived threat which triggers the fight flight or freeze response and that's a problem because the information the amygdala gets can be completely inaccurate so you're having this experience there's no logic here, no reasoning here, it doesn't make any sense, so stop trying to make sense of it. Now this is why I'm always talking about don't believe, don't trust your feelings, which are interpretations of your emotions, because you're getting the incorrect information, right? So that, that's a different topic, different video, but uh, let's move on to the next point. Number three, associations and learning. Now your amygdala forms uh, associations and pairs it with emotional reactions. And those emotional reactions turn into emotional memories. However, the input can be completely inaccurate. So you've now got an amygdala fear center that is reacting to memories that might not have even happened. You've got fear responses for no reason, but it's going to, th you're going to think the memories are real. Okay. So by the way, research shows that only approximately 50% of your memories are accurate. Then they're not even correct. Even though we think they are correct, they're not. And that's another problem for that amygdala and your state of anxiety. 
Number four, managing the amygdala activations. Now the goal is not to eliminate amygdala activation, right? We want it to have the protective factors. That's why you're not trying to get rid of anxiety. You want it to be protective of real or perceived threat, but you want to be able to control that mother you want to be able to tell it what to do, how to respond in a healthy way. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm bringing. I'm, I'm walking you towards that path of rhythmic uh, uh, patterns to retrain it so that you stay in control. Okay, so let me show you the four minute habit. Now, this is something you're going to do. You're out and about, you're having a panic attack, you're having high anxiety out in the world. So I want to show you how you would do this pattern using your body now you can use a drum pad which i'll also show you you can use a drum but usually when you're in a state of anxiety you are gripped with fear you're going to use this on your body so here's a pattern very simply i'm going to say i'm going to show you on my my fingers first so the pattern sounds like this it's using accents one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four, one. Well, that seems simple enough. Unless you're in a state of freaking gripping anxiety, then you're going to do it on your legs. Okay. So it sounds like this. Now, maybe you're thinking, how am I going to do this? Because this is my client say, what if, what if people see me? <laughs> I'm like, what? You feel like you're dying. Does it matter? No, nobody cares. You want to get in control. Get in control your, of your body. So you want to do it on the table. You want to do it on your body. Doesn't matter. The point is you're going to repeat this. Somehow contact with your body because you need to get in your body. So once again, like this. I was like, should I count? <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now, the goal is to continue. You're going to continue until you get it right. But there, there's more to it than this. So just a sec. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you do it wrong. What you're trying to do is gamify it. You're trying to get your brain, you're trying to hook that your brain's reward circuitry and make it into a game in those moments of high anxiety, which I know sounds weird and bizarre. Yeah, it works. So if you can only do it at this temple, totally fine. If you're like one, two oh no oh no up one <laughs> it's it's an ugly process i'm not even going to act it out but i can tell you no you can't just like that that it takes a long time to get to there but the point is you do it once you're trying to you're trying to do it correct once if you don't get it doesn't matter because your brain is going to try again. You're going to be rewarded with more dopamine while you're trying. Does not matter. You can't be, you don't want this frustrating you. You don't want it to be like, oh no, I, I can't do it. Now I'm such an idiot. Now I'm like going to die as an idiot. Don't, don't be doing that. And I know that that happens because my clients tell me that they say that to themselves. So keep that in mind. So I want to show you the four, four minute habit on a drum pad. Now, I personally think everyone should have one of these. There, you can get it off of Amazon. It's cheap, but it's like the perfect, if you don't want to get a drum and you don't want to do all that, just do the rhythmic strategy, something you want to practice on, then you practice on here. Here's how the four minute habit would sound. It's just, you're just doing accents with a fuller sound. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. The difficult part is continuing, right? So it sounds like this. Right? That's the challenge. So when you're starting off, maybe you want to you want the goal of like four times in a row. No. Keep in mind, if you're in a state of anxiety, you're doing it until you're calm. Now, what this is going to do, you're going to use your body, retrain lower areas of the brain first, still bringing on full cortical functioning because you've got to be thinking a bit about the, 
the uh, pattern. The difference is you're not trying to talk your way out of anxiety. The body base, it's not going to work when you're gripped with that fear, that fast, you know, intense anxiety because you're not really thinking about it other other than after it will kick in like it may feel like you're going to die you don't want to be like you're not like going to say i'm not going to die everything's okay everything's fine no you just do this it's fantastic and it's going to work for you and now just for the fun of it Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it valuable. I hope you actually follow through and try the four minute habit. Please share this video, like, leave a comment, subscribe. You know what to do. I really appreciate you. And remember, in order to have sustainable, positive transformation, you've got to learn how to master your brain. See you next time.